Hi everyone, my name is Selena, and some of you may know me as Cooking with Sal from Instagram. And this is my first YouTube video, yay! Just to give you a little bit of background about me, I just recently graduated from university with a nutritional and nutraceutical science degree, and I am now continuing to go to naturopathic school to become a naturopath. Um, and today I just wanted to bring you guys something simple just to start off my page. And I've seen a lot in the trends about the Dalgana, Dalonga, I don't even know how to pronounce it, the whipped coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I came up with a matcha version. Um, it's inspired from Sibology, which is steep tea. And I'm here to bring it to you guys. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one egg yolk. You're going to need one teaspoon of your favorite matcha. I have coconut matcha from Sibology. You're going to need a cup of ice, obviously a mason jar if you wanna be aesthetic, uh, two teaspoons of sugar, or more or less depending on what you like. I like to add a splash of vanilla and your favorite milk. This can be plant-based or it can be dairy. It is completely up to you. So how we're gonna start is we're gonna pour our egg yolk into our bowl and our sugar. And then we're just gonna whip it up until we get 15. This may take like five minutes and it's a complete arm workout doing it too. You can now kind of see some bubbles starting to form. This literally takes like 20 hours to do, but it is worth it, I promise. Ooh, also side note, um, with the egg whites that I use, it is better to use the ones that are in a carton over the one that's from a raw egg. Uh, just because the ones that are in a carton are more safe to use. They have a lower chance of having um, salmonella or anything else. All right, so I just finished whipping it. We now have some stiff peaks. You can kind of see it when I bring my whisk in that it has a little pull on it. And there we are. That is our finished product. Look at that beautiful egg white. So now I have my favorite matcha. Matcha is the most purest form of tea. It is young green tea leaves that are ground up and they have the highest antioxidant concentration in it. So I'm just gonna add one teaspoon. Matcha is known to be very anti-inflammatory and it also has an almost higher content of caffeine than coffee. But instead of having, you know, the spike that you usually get with coffee, matcha has kind of a slow increase and keeps the energy going throughout the day. So that's why I prefer matcha. I also prefer the taste of it. Um, it can be bitter, but if you mix it with just, just the right amount of sugar, it will taste really good. And now I have this beautiful green color of matcha right there. Awesome. Got my jar with ice. Putting a splash of vanilla or a half a teaspoon if you want to measure it or a quarter. And I have my favorite oat milk. You can buy this oat milk at Costco in a pack of six. It is amazing. I love it. Pour that on top. All right. And then we take our whipped matcha and we just put it on top like that. Look at that. Perfect! I love it! Oh my god, it tastes so good too. If you were like me, I like mine like just, you know, just the right amount of sweetness, not too overpowering. So I did two teaspoons of sugar. You can even do a little bit less than that if you want. Um, for my sweet tooth people, do like a tablespoon of sugar. I know that may seem a lot, but you do you, honey. That is my matcha dalgana, dalonga. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Subscribe for more. It's somewhere down here. Or maybe it's up here. I'm new to this. I don't know.